Hello everyone and welcome in Hengdian. And if you wonder what is Hengdian and why do you look so disgusting? Well, Hengdian is the world's biggest film studios here in, well, not only in China, but in the world. And besides that, I'm so bloody sweaty because you would think I'm in uh, the Forbidden City in Beijing, but it's not. It's uh, all fake and a film set, but it looks really uh, real here. And uh, besides that, I also realized that uh, the squares here on the Forbidden City are bloody open and big. And if you run around to shoot some footage, you will sweat as hell if you do that with 38 degrees. But yeah, that's it for the Forbidden City. Besides that, some interesting facts is that they, uh, it took them seven years to make a one-on-one -on -one replica of the Forbidden City. And it costed them 10 million pounds to build this whole one-on-one -on -one replica. And that's not the only place they have here. They have uh, five other palaces, I believe, and some uh, streets as well. And I think because it's 38 degrees, we are very lucky because there's no one here behind us and normally it's very busy. But let's move on because I'm dying here. <laughs> So we are standing in front of the building where during the Qing and Ming dynasty uh, the emperor, when they had an important visitor, they were coming inside here, which I can imagine we just walked all the way from there, from the entrance to here, which took us around 15 minutes rushing. So I think it will normally take around 45 minutes before I reach even the emperor. And then he is, uh, that person is very tired and see the emperor over there and he doesn't even want to speak with him anymore I guess. And after that uh, is a bedroom for the emperor itself. If he doesn't want to have any sex anymore with his wives, because he is the lucky man who has multiple wives, then uh, he can sleep uh, over there. And we continue on because in the meantime my sweat is getting into my eyes. Something very weird just happened here behind me in a very famous place where they used in the dramas. It's a very famous palace in uh, one of uh, the Chinese uh, dramas. However, this time they invited us to be part of one of the drama shootings. So this whole segment, what follows after this, it will be a very weird segment where I have no idea what exactly is happening and I will end up, well, you will see how it looks like. I'm here as a servant to help and serve you. You are the flowers of my eye. However, I'm here as a servant only to serve you. So we have finished the Forbidden City and now we are walking in Guangzhou Old Street during, well, time period 1900. Yeah. During time period 1900. And we are quite lucky, as always, there's no one here, as you can see behind me. There are some areas where it can be very busy, but so far this uh, part is uh, very empty. And after this we go to Hong Kong Old Street where we will see some cabaret during the night, some other performances, and we will see the change from this, well we still have a little bit of daylight, into the nightlife, into the old time of Hong Kong.
Okay, that's it for Hangian World Studios for day one. Tomorrow we have a day two and maybe we also have a day three here. First impression, perfect place to go. However, last thing here about the old Hong Kong street, which is around 1930, 1950. And that time period was, according to some people in China, the most free time period um, in their history. However, we just visited the show and I don't really get it. I just don't get it what water jet skis, people who are floating around in water have to do with this free time period. Like, like this, the ding 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 part. Watch this first. There are people dancing in front of me. There are people making saltos or whatever in the sky on the water. It looks amazing but weird altogether. Children love it, but I don't get what it has to do with this time period. I don't even believe they had those machines to do those kind of tricks. However, that's it for day one. This place is perfect to visit in the night, as you can see behind me. And, well, tomorrow is a new day. I don't really know where we are going tomorrow. <laughs>